Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And this wasn't the video I was planning to film today. I had the back tooth pulled and I've been a little bit sore. So today I want to announce the winners of my four winners of my last video. And also there's some questions that have been asked of me in the past few months and I've kind of kept track of them. And I'm going to answer those questions and just do chit chat. Nothing nothing exciting at all. In fact, I think I'm going to announce the winners of the giveaway first in case you don't want to stick around just for the chit chat. And these were picked by random comment picker. And one of the questions I have had and is why I don't do it like live, I do the random comment picker and you can see it come up, is because I always check and make sure it's not the very first comment somebody has made. I don't want somebody to just watch my video for the first time or left a comment for the first time to win. And I wish there was a way I could uh, figure out how to only do giveaways for people that have been with me for a while, but I can't. But I don't require anyone to be subscribed to be in my giveaways, but I don't want it to be the very first comment they've left. So that's why I don't do it. And I'm going to go ahead and announce the winners in the order that they were picked. The first name that came up was Donna Wall. Congratulations, Donna. The next person was Jen D08. Congratulations, Jen. The next person is Olena Young. Congratulations, Olena. And the last winner is Sharon Connor. Congratulations, Sharon. Each winner will receive a $50 e-gift card. Most places have e-gift cards, especially places that you order online or you can order online. I can also do a deposit to your PayPal account or your Venmo account. And if you don't know how to use an e-gift card, you can just look it up on YouTube. They'll tell you how to use an Amazon e-gift card and it applies to other places too. And if you don't have a PayPal or a Venmo, I don't know that much about Venmo, but I've used PayPal for, oh, long, long before I started my YouTube channel. When I started using it was when I would order some things from eBay and you did have some recourse. If you don't have it, it is really convenient and I don't have any links or anything to it, but just look up and get some information. I have a grandson that lives out of town 45 minutes away and like if I want to support his baseball team, basketball team, football team, I can just send either one of his parents something on PayPal or Venmo and then they can cash it and that way it's just really nice and it's been real safe but anyway. So if your name was called as a winner, I want you to make sure you leave a comment below and I will let you know how to get in touch with me. I have not had any problems mailing anything, any gifts. I always do insurance. I don't want to physically send anything in a card to anyone because there's been some issues in our area, I don't know about yours, with the mail. Uh, I had a friend that sent me a Valentine's card, sent it the 1st of February and I got it like two weeks ago and uh, at the same time I got the Easter card. So it, um, I just like doing it this way. And for those of you, there's quite a few of you who say, well, you don't want to enter because it will decrease someone else's chances of winning. I understand that, but I've had people that have won that have paid it forward and given their gift to someone else in their community. So if you really don't want to win it, you could pay it forward to someone else. Years ago, I had a company that sent me wigs, and I think I, they sent me a total of four wigs. Well, I kept one of them, and I did not want the rest of them. I didn't need the rest of them, and I knew there were people that needed them more. But it was so hard to come up with, like, I didn't want people to leave in the comments section, um, I really need the wig because I've had chemotherapy, but it, it's just really hard to do it. So I came up with another way to do it, but it was a lot of trouble. So anyway, that's about the giveaways. And the reason I do so many giveaways is because once I started my channel and I started making some money, 
I decided at that time that I was going to give a certain percent back to you because without you, I wouldn't make a cent. And the more people who watch, the longer they watch, um, the more money I make. And anyway, I like to share it. That's just who I am. And I have never put, since I've been on YouTube, I've never put giveaway in the title. I close my giveaways after three days because, I mean, I don't want it to get more subscribers. I just like to do giveaways. I have had a lot of questions recently asking if I was still a professional registered nurse. And yes, I am. I lost my job right after I turned 60. And I'll, I'll leave a link up here somewhere and below on how I lost my job, what caused it. After 31 years working in the same hospital, I do keep up all my educational requirements because you just never ever know. And I work too hard to get those licenses to lose them. And another question I get is if I am a registered nurse, why can't I give advice on skin care? And the reason I can't is I am a registered nurse. I am not a nurse practitioner. In the state of Illinois, unless it's changed, if you were a nurse practitioner, you could hang up your shingle, you can write any prescription, you are a healthcare provider. And also I have, I have quite a few friends that are nurse practitioners and I have quite a few friends that are PAs that went to school to be an RN, worked for numerous years as a registered nurse, and then they went on to PA school. And it's my understanding, unless it's changed, they have to work in a facility where there is a physician under the same roof or nearby. I'm not really sure. So I can give you ideas on things to ask your doctor, if it's on Retin-A, if it's on things like that, things you need to talk to with your healthcare provider. But because we are not in person, when you do nursing education, you do it one-on-one. -on -one. The person has a chance to repeat it to you, and if needed, they demonstrate. Well, there's no way to do that on YouTube. And if you're in a setting where there's several people, if you do nursing education, people have the ability to ask questions to make sure they understand what you have to say. So that's why I steer you to the questions that you can ask your healthcare provider. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, I mean, I'm glad. I still do get questions on if I've had any procedures, spa treatments, anything. No, I have not, and I don't think I ever will, but I'll never say never. Everything that I do, I do at home, and um, I don't even like when I do videos, I don't even wear a lip liner. I don't want my lips to appear to be bigger because that's something I do. I derma roll my lips because I want to keep them as full as I can for as long as I can, but I'm, I'm not willing to risk anything. I'm not willing to have fillers. I just want to do it on my own. So I don't try to make anything look better than it is. That's why a lot of times I don't even wear makeup in, in my videos. And speaking of makeup, I do have one pump of the It Your Skin But Better Foundation. I put one pump on. I have tried it a few times. I think it's good, but I can't rave about it yet. I've just been really liking powder foundations. But um, one pump covered my whole face. It says it has skincare benefits. I haven't used it enough to tell if it has, and it doesn't have sunscreen. But I do think it's a real pretty foundation. And speaking of trying to make things look better, I have never ever enhanced a thumbnail. I don't need, I, I film with my old iPhone 7, and I have two lamps in here, just regular lamps. And I don't have like lighting, I don't have I don't have anything because I want you to see, like when I do my skincare videos, which I'm working on, those are two of the videos I'm working on, my one year update and then the, the extra things I do like derma rolling. I get as up close and personal as I can and you can see everything. I will say that what I see when I am editing my videos, it's as clear as a bell. I think just by uploading it to YouTube, I think it softens it a little bit. I really do. But I try to be as real as I can about my skincare and, and what I do. And I, in that video that I mentioned watching uh, about when I lost my job, I had, I was, I think just had turned 61 when I did it. And in it, I said I had a passion for skincare and makeup. 
Well, that was just shortly after I started the Retin-A, and I was kind of passionate. I'm still a slacker, but I do it. But anyway, am I going to start uploading videos every Sunday? Right now, I'm not. I'm, I may at some point, but I'm on the every other Sunday routine. If, if something would happen and I couldn't upload on the Sunday I'm supposed to, you can just go and look at my last video and I will have in the very first line, like, I'll see you the next Sunday, just so you know I'm okay. Because I worry about you guys, and I think you worry about me, and you don't need to worry about me at all, because I'm doing really well. And I get the question a lot, why do I take blood thinners? And those of you who haven't been with me for a while don't know my story. I have something called, and I'll type it up in here, it's paroxysmal atrial fibrillation with, ra rapid, whew, with rapid ventricular response. I did have, several years ago, I had a 10-hour ablation. It did not work. So I am on 10 milligrams of Coumadin every single day. After my ablation, it did get better, but it did return. So I had a second one. And after my doctor from St. Louis spoke, he spoke with phys electrophysiologists all over the United States. They decided that there is really nothing that can be done. Um, at some point when I get really, really old, older than 67, no, I don't know, um, a pacemaker might work. But I'll tell you what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on the Watchman Flex. And I will put a, a link to the Watchman below. The Watchman Flex is not in our area yet. But if I get that device and after 90 days, if it is adhered, then I can quit taking Coumadin because I've been taking it a long time and, um, and I don't have to be as careful climbing around on things that anyway. And that's why I usually, when I mention the derma rolling, I say I've never brought blood to the surface. And if anybody was gonna bring blood to the surface, it's gonna be me, me because my blood's always supposed to be thin. And that's why you see bruises on my arms. I mean, I just bruise very easily, but I get my blood tested every month and I'm always between the range I'm supposed to be. And then there's been questions about my family. I have two older sisters. We are all three years apart and they both watch my videos. Jim is not the father of my children. I was married to my children's father for about 11 years. He lives in the same town. He and Jim get along. I've always gotten along with their dad and uh, have raised really good children. I have two children, a son who is 46 and a daughter who's 43. My son has a son that is 20 and he has one that's 16. He also has a bonus son who is 21. And my daughter has a son that's 23, a son that's 18, and a bonus son who is 13. I keep, you keep hearing the word son. Well, Jim has three sons and he has five grandsons. So we don't have a granddaughter anywhere. So anyway, those are the questions that I have gotten asked the most. It is all good. I want to congratulate my four winners and uh, I will see you in my next video. Take care. I have and I'm gonna answer those questions. So the winners are going to, product wasn't as it was, if the product wasn't as what it, that's not, I just like to. I'll be working on my next videos on, well I'm 67, I'll be 68 in October. Like if I want to, uh,